going on people we are tottenham tv here back with another video still in isolation um kind of <laughs> yeah kind of we have got a transfer video to bring to you today and we are going to talk about four options four rumors that we've been linked with in the press and we're going to start with sky sports um and Kondogbia. They reported that we are looking at Kondogbia once again. Uh, we've been looking at him for the last couple of summers, apparently. Uh, well, which, we've which... been a long time admirer of Jeffrey Kondogbia. Yeah. He's actually a midfielder that um, we knew. I think we were very interested in him when he was playing for Monaco back in 2014, 2015. Yeah, that's where he really made a name for himself. Yeah. Um, I remember he scored away at the Emirates when they beat Arsenal in the, champ not last time in the Champions League. Yeah, he's a defensive midfielder. I think he's got a lot of energy about him, and he's um, he's a he would be a good player for us. I don't think he's perfect. He's not perfect on the ball. He can be very loose in his passing. Um, but I can see why we're interested in him and why we've been long term admirer of him. He's not that um young. He's like twenty eight, I think. He's twenty seven. Twenty seven. Um, so he's not like a young fresh midfielder. I don't know, it's not one to get me that excited, but he would be a decent signing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he was a guy who made his name at Monaco, and then he got a big move to Inter Milan, which didn't really work out for him. Went on loan to Valencia, did all right for that season, and then Valencia eventually bought him. Uh, yeah. So he's kind of he, got he his... He failed Inter, didn't he? That's a worry. Yeah, but he got his season back on track after moving to Valencia. You know, sometimes these clubs are just not the right fit. It doesn't mean he's a bad player. No, no, he's, I think he's a decent player. Mm. That's the thing, but he's decent. He's not Would you take him? exceptional. Would I take him? Um, probably, yeah. I'd probably take any. Like, how, how much do you think a guy like that costs these days? Him, I would say between, I think with the current market inflation, between like 30 and 40 million, mm. something around there. That's cool. That's for Sounds like about well. our budget as well. So, so um, yeah, we've been linked with Jeffrey Kondogbia, uh, a rumour from Sky Sports. Let us know in the comment section below. Is that something you'd be interested in or shall we be looking, uh, we should be setting our high, sights higher than that. Um, let's move on to a Daily Mail rumour. This is for Jude Bellingham of Birmingham. Um, this kid apparently is setting the world alight. He's 16 years old. Mm. He's played 35 games this year in a championship. Yeah, he's very heavily rumoured of Manchester United as well. That's mm -hmm. the thing. United have apparently um, uh, stolen a march from most other teams um, in, in terms of getting signature. Apparently he's met. With a lot of a few of the, with the United officials, according to some um, sources that I've read, so I don't know how likely this is, but yeah, I think a good young signing for the future who could make it possibly make an impact. Um, I think it would be a solid acquisition, but I, I think Man United might just pip us. That's what I'm worried about. All right, um, let's move on to another one from the mail. The mail aren't very reliable, but uh, we're going to talk about them anyway. I don't, think um, any, do you know, I don't think any clubs are looking at transfers at the moment, in all honesty, but we'll see. Um, don't put it past Daniel Levy. He's always uh, looking to make some buck out of these uh, kind of moments. But anyway, <laughs> Eberechi Eze from QPR. Uh, 21 years old, striker. Um, scored 11 goals in 33 this season. Scored 4 in 42 last season. Yeah, he's he's um he's been playing very well for Cooper. I've seen a few of his um highlights. And I know it's not not judging for much, but um he looks like a real good prospect, is he? And I I think he could be one of those players who um makes an instant impact in the league, like someone like Deli Ali. I feel like he could have that much potential, but obviously um remains to be seen. He's like he's twelve. How old is he? Twenty one. Yeah. Um, so he's he's 21 now so he's not exactly a teenager he's not a youngster he's probably ready uh, to make the step up in his career but he's really coming into into the fore this season for QPR starting to actually produce the goods um, up front and I think would could be a very solid backup option for us as a backup striker yeah definitely I would love to see him in the Spurs shirt I think that um, he's having a really good season for QPR this season but it's probably his first like proper good season at a top level well, not top level, but a professional level um, in his career. Uh, so I'd like to see how he does. Maybe if he was to come to us um, off the bench and stuff, but maybe he wouldn't get enough playing time if he was to come to us to kind of boost himself and his and his personal career. Maybe not, but he could see there's an opportunity, um, you know, to, 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 to get his... Because we... His, well, I guess with Pochino now here, maybe we're not as good with young players, but historically we have been, in the past few seasons, we have been pretty good with, with developing good young talent. So he could see it as an opportunity, but remains to be seen. And last but not least, we're going to go for a rumour from the Daily Express 
Apparently Tottenham and Arsenal are both going in for Dejan Lovren this summer. Yeah, they can great, have him. Great yeah, news. They can have him. They can have him. I think. Is um, although everyone talking about panic buying, Lou Rowe and hand sanitizer this will probably be the worst of the lot. Yes. Of them. <laughs> um, um, I think every time he's played for Liverpool this season, he's pretty much been the sole reason that like, they haven't been winning games. Or um, that they conceded a goal. Yeah, I think. I think he's uh, he's. No, I just don't want him. I I, I don't think he would improve our defense. I think he's just a disaster. If anything will make our defense worse. Yeah, he's he's old as well. He's not young. He doesn't have fresh legs. Um, I just think he'll be a pretty poor signing from Tottenham. It'll be a signing that would might have been good like ten years ago, but um, no, I'm not having that at all. I think we should be looking at a younger style defender, a, a, a defender who's been more solid over the last two years. I think Lovren. I think I do think he gets a bit of a bit too much unfair criticism. I don't think he's as bad as people think, but I don't think he would be the right fit for us. Uh, for the comments uh, he came out with as well uh, when was it when Croatia got to the World Cup final was like oh, I'm one of the greatest yeah. centre backs in football no, I've not. been to Champions League final I've been to World Cup final I've up himself a bit too oh, much as well no. I, don't like I just don't want him anywhere near our club unless it's on the opposite side of the playing field he will fit in Arsenal quite nicely I he think. would fit in <laughs> Arsenal quite nicely um, and I'd, whenever I think of Lovren, I just think about how Kane just done him in that time at Wembley. Yeah, currently he has to be uh, hauled off after 20 minutes. Exactly, that's all I think about. But um, yeah, there you have it. That's our transfer rumours so far. I know it's slim pickings here for the... Uh, but who knows when the transfer window is going to open again? We don't even know. So Yeah, I know. We're, but we're just going to keep providing you content and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below any of these um, rumours you think that can come into fruition, any of these rumours you think you want or you don't want, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, come on you Spurs. Yeah!